going on my peoples it's your boy rum 300 we are back again with another video welcome to he smells like wrong i am your boy rum 300 and this is as you saw on the title my top winter picks for 2019 the best fragrances that i have in my collection that i feel that you guys should try i think that the hands down the best choices that you can pick for diversity and just uniqueness and just pure luxury fragrances in the niche spectrum of the fragrance game. Don't get me wrong, niche does not always mean super expensive. And this is my picks that I want you guys to try out. Yes, I want you guys to try out. I don't do these videos just to show off my fragrances i do this because i want everybody that i think for me in my opinion that respects quality respects craftsmanship and an artistic mindset that i think you guys will appreciate these fragrances if you give it a chance so without further ado let's start off i have 11 here so we're gonna start off with the first one and this one, oh, I, I have to let you go, guys know I have, I have a few coming back from last year, but I got a few that's new too, so be excited for that. Um, first one I'm going to talk about is Nesne, brand Nesne, and this is at number 11, and this is Artier de Artis. This is at number 11, one, because it is unbelievably hard to find the company is no longer out but you can still find the fragrances on amazon and ebay and people in the fragrance community they also do splits and sell it but this is just a unique fragrance that it brings out this kind of barbershop vibe for me if you see my review on it it has a coffee note it has a tobacco note it has a cognac and a rum note it is just a concoction of just booziness and freshness and also this sweetness that just cannot be beat. And I haven't actually got anything in my collection that gives this modern day take on a boozy barbershop fragrance. So if you like that, check this one out. Nezade Artiste de Artisan. Um, next one up. This is new fragrance in my collection. I just got it uh, last year. And this is from Dreamhouse Curio. And this one is Ghost Dance. Now, let me put this up here so you guys see this. Um, Ghost Dance is one of those just gems one of those fragrances that you stumble upon, you don't expect it to be um, good, but it surprises you after maybe wearing it, not once, twice, but at the third wearing, you're like, okay, this is something special. And for me, this fragrance has a combination of uh, floral, but also this powdery sugar smell. It has, like, like if you can imagine just like coriander or like some rose petals and then you mix that with uh, powdered sugar, but a soft, not heavy powder, not just cloying kind of sweet smell, no soft layer of just a powdery smell. It, this is that for me. And I will be doing a review on this fragrance it is absolutely gorgeous for a winter fragrance and guys i'm telling you if you get a chance get a sample from vincent this is a banger ghost dance at number 10. at number 11. if you haven't seen my video before i've been talking about last year i was really into the whole barbershop thing this, this kind of uh shebra almost orientals lavender kick that is just taking me over and the next one is one of the just old school barbershop fragrances that 
I smelled on the dude and it just was like, yo, I need that bottle. And that is Stetson. You can laugh all you want. You can joke all you want. You can say this is old, this is vintage. This shit is fire. It, you, enough said, try it out. Tell me if I'm lying. Tell me if I'm lying. If you like barbershop style fragrance, just came out the barber, got a nice shave, line up, haircut, whatever it is, tell me this don't smell like a version of that coming out of the barbershop. So that right there, 11, 10, 9. Number nine, Stetson for men. Number eight, number eight, this is... You you a you a G. You you just an alpha male. You just don't care what anybody says. You said I'm wearing this because I wanna rock this shit. And that is Cure by Mona Diorio. This is a leather of all leather fragrances. Tuscan leather, move out of the way. I don't wanna hear that. Get a leather. You want this in your you want this in your collection. This is just rough, it's raw, it's vintage, it's a leather jacket, it's a leather boot, it's all that leather saddle. It's, it's gorgeous, guys. Smoky leather, strong alpha male shit. This is Cure and number eight. Oh my God, y'all gotta, gotta try that one. And we'll break through anything below 35 degrees. It's cutting through that. So, that was 11, 10, 9, 8. Now we're at number 7. Number 7 is another fragrance from the house, Dream House Curio, and that is Othello. Othello is... If I can put it into words, I have a review for this, but I'm going to simplify it for you. It's a candy fragrance. This is sweet. This is uh, uh, playful. This is sexy. If you can imagine those uh, strawberry candies that had a little uh, liquid filling in the middle, or you can imagine a Tussie Pop that has the little either cherry or strawberry feeling once you get past the chocolate layer on top. So, if you can smell both of those and imagine how that would smell if that was on skin, this is a interpretation of that. And once again, not be smooth, but very strong, very sweet, and you, you wanna smell this shit on you for at least 10 hours easy. Okay, so that's number seven. Number six, number six, is an essential oud oil. This is one of my first oud oils. I've done a review on this one. I think this is one of those fragrances that if you're around enthusiasts, if you're around oud lovers, they're gonna ask you a million times what you're wearing, where you get it from, where I get a bottle. This right here is Dear Soul. Dear Soul is a spicy, peppery, uh, alluring, animalic. I wonder if that's the same, like, I think, I, I always was wondering, animalic, animalistic. It, it pulls off this, a, a, a smidget of body odor, but it is overtaken by these beautiful uh, spices and just waves of, just pepper and cinnamon and just musk and this is you, you gotta try it you gotta try it it is a must have in your collection if you are a collective of oud oils so that is number six dear soul by oud factory another fragrance we down to the top five y'all Y'all ready for top five? Top five, we getting serious. Take notes.
take a picture. I don't get, care what you do, but this this right here, y'all already know. Mona Diorio's Vanille, in my opinion, top three best vanillas in the niche game, in the fragrance game, you can never have in your collection. Original bottle, the new design bottle, both smell exactly the same, longevity the same. This is a smoky vanilla, smells like a baked cookie that was left in the oven maybe another five minutes too long, so that's like this burnt rim, crisp, sweet smell, but is so addictive. When I mean addictive, like I spray this, still can smell this on me like I never, like I just sprayed it. I had on for four hours, it's still projecting, it's still in my face, but I want to get the opening again with that smokiness because it does dry down to more of a vanilla uh, uh, sweetness, creaminess, but that opening with that smokiness is just, just unmatched. This is a must have, guys. Check this out, get it if you can. Get Lucky Scent definitely has it if you're in the US. All right, so that's number five. Number four is, I know y'all been asking, like, yo, Rome, yo, you my Bodicea, man. You the dude that always talk about Bodicea. Yes, I'm not gonna let y'all down. I got you. Bodicea, the victorious Namur, is at number four. This is the best rose oud combination in my collection thus far. Haven't had anything that can compete with it, with longevity, uniqueness, uh, 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 rare oud, pure oud oil, uh, pure perfume. Nothing can compete with the project, the projection, and it's just a lovely fragrance. It's not something that is uh, just too stank, like oh, it's just too much oud, or oh, it's too floral. It's got too much of this this rose. No, it is a pure perfect balance of the two with uh, hints of patchouli and amber. It's absolutely gorgeous. Namur at number four. At number three, the number one barbershop fragrance in the world in my opinion and it's from MDCI, the king of barbershop making fragrance company whatever you want to call it they are if you're looking for a barbershop fragrance period they have at least four in their lineup that is years ahead of the competition right now and this right here is Sheeper Palatin by MDCI and look at that juice guys this shit look like cognac that look like or a or, uh, 18 year age whiskey and the busk is I shoot a motherfucker they try to steal this I know that's wrong I'm not gonna shoot you that's just too much that, that went too far I know I might stab you I might cut you if you try to take the bus I'd rather you take the fragrance because I can get the fragrance again but if you steal the bus I'm gonna I'm tase you that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna tase you and then kick you while you knocked out. I'm playing. All right, next up, number two. Number two, it was a struggle. This was a struggle. I know everybody say this shit. Everybody say this. No, I'm, I'm dead serious. It came down to just before I turned this camera on, on my number one and two. And I, I had to go with number two. This had to be number two because... Bodicea has been number one, I think, since the last three years. And this one is great, but I can't see it being number one. This is Blue Sapphire from Bodicea the Victorious. Blue Sapphire, the new Blue Beast, the Alpha, the Omega of longevity and fragrances. This is Citrus, Patchouli, and Oud. People have said this before, this is one of the best fragrances ever created. I still think that it is one of the best fragrances ever created. But I will tell you that there is no fragrance, and you can quote me on this. Look at my face. Look at my face. There is no fragrance in the market to this day that smells like this. 
uniqueness. If you need something unique, it is going to cost you a pretty penny, but it is worth it when you want to smell absolutely unique and one of a kind wherever you're going. There's not going to be a person in the next 100 to 200 people that smell like that at a party, at a dinner, at an award ceremony, on a date, at the club, like that. Guarantee you. Quote me. So, that was number two. Number one is, I've been talking about this fragrance all year. If you've been watching me on Instagram, you've been watching me on YouTube, you've watching me on Facebook, I've been just talking about this brand, this house, and it's been a love of mine for the last year. And this fragrance in particular is the best fragrance in the collection that I've smelled thus far, and that is from Effinescence. Effinescence is number one, and the fragrance is Patchouli Oud. Just go check the review out. Check the review out. Three words. Herbal. Earthy. Patchouli. Okay, I say four. Of course. The best, the most smoothest, the most seductive, the most alluring oud combination right there if this fragrance has not won an award it's just because people have not actually got their hands on it but i'm telling you those who have smelled this will not argue one bit that is it's it is in the best category of oud fragrances that you can compare get them all together the best ones you can compare Put this in there, guarantee you it's gonna be in the top five every time if it's not number one. Patchouli Oud for Affinescence, or Affinescence, however you wanna say it, is my number one pick. I really hope you guys enjoyed my just crazy rant and, and my explanation on these great fragrances. This is something that I'm passionate about. This is something that I want you guys to understand that I don't do this too impress anybody or to say I got the, the best fragrances in the world. I do this because I really love smelling like me. I really like finding fragrances that will create a conversation, not necessarily saying I want you to give me compliments. That's not the goal. The goal is to start, start a conversation because I want that conversation to be like, yo, where's that? Where'd you get that? And I can explain to people, it's not everywhere. But you can go here and get it and you'll be that unique person in that next event or next place you go that smells absolutely one of a kind that's my goal make you smell like one of a kind wherever you go who wants to smell like 45 50 people at the same place that's boring to me so not trying to start no 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 shit or not i'm just saying if you ride with me you know what i'm talking about so my 11th fragrance or well, my 11 fragrances that I picked for 2019 winter, these right here are the best ones that will cut through that coal, that will be the, the, the swag on your shoulders, on your neck, on your wrist, wherever you want to put it, and will make you have that confidence, that sexiness. And I'm not just talking to the guys. I'm letting you know right now. Every fragrance up here, except for these two right here, except for... The Cure and the Stetson is unisex. Every single one of these a woman can wear. I'm dead serious. You can, it's unisex. But beyond that, thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate you. Every last one of you guys for riding with me. Like always, you guys are the best. And stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be some unique things coming up for 2019. I got some more uh, exclusive interviews. I got some collabs coming up and um, some more exciting things. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And like I always say, it's okay if you want to smell like Rome. I'll check you guys out on the next video. Until then, peace.